Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Swiffy channel, I hope you are doing well. So today, we're going to do a latest update video on how to gain extra storage on your device guys, okay? So pretty much clear up some of the dead wood in there, find where files weren't maybe stored that you didn't know they were, so we're not running critically low on storage on our Fire Sticks. This will work on Fire Sticks, Fire TV Cubes, Fire Stick 4K, 4K Max, a lot. And Later in the week, we're going to show you how to add external storage to a Fire Stick and how to set that up as well. So if that's a video you would like, do remember to drop a comment underneath and tell me you would like that video. Plus, remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We've got tons of Fire Stick videos and streaming videos. And if you're a regular watcher, do hit that share button. So today, we're going to go through a few different things which will help us clear out some extra space for you. Okay. Um, first things first, let's go and have a look what storage we've got. So go into your settings, go to My Fire TV, About, and you'll see storage, okay? My storage there, I've only got 804 megabytes free or 535, um, of 5.35 gigabytes, 535 megabytes, 5,035. 5.35 gigabytes. So we haven't got a lot of storage left on ours, and we need to clear some up. Right, so next things we're going to do is we're going to use an app. So go to settings. We will go into applications, manage installed applications, we're going to go all the way down to here, SD made, okay, I come this way because it's one of those applications which doesn't always show its um, logo, I will show you how to install this at the end of the video guys, so do stay tuned, for those who know the link is underneath, so we can launch this application. And in here, we can do a quick scan, and it will tell us what we need to clear out, guys, okay? So just run a really quick scan. You've got to allow the permissions. Obviously, it needs permissions to certain things, so it can actually access the files for you. Okay, so we've got 28 kilobytes can be freed there. Nothing in the app cleaner. So we can run now with 32 kilobytes to be freed. Mine is low because I run it, obviously, to do the test before I made the video. So we've done that on for us there. We've got a bit out simple but we'll do that later in a video and show you how to install it next one we will do is a lot of you probably use the downloader app guys okay the downloader app um what we need to do we need the downloader any app way so for anyone who hasn't got the downloader app go to search type in downloader d-o-w click it and install it okay get it installed Right, we're going to open this quickly, but we're not going to install anything this time. We're going to go over to where it says Files. Okay, not Browser, we go to Files. In here, you will see loads of apps which you've downloaded um, and their files. Okay, so one's 20 megabytes, one's 1 1.2, some are up to 80 to 100 megabytes. And if you had about 10 of them in there, that's nearly a gig of storage. And these are APK files, not the applications. These are the install files. So once that application is installed, this is just dead stuff. You can delete it. So push your free line button on your um, remote and click delete. You should always delete these. This is why when you download something, I always tell you to delete. Brilliant. So get them all out there. I bet some of you have found loads in there. All right, next, let's go across to our settings, back to applications, manage installed applications, and in here is where we need to just delete some apps you're not using, guys. You'll down, most likely follow loads of guys like mine or other people's, and you'll find loads of stuff in here you are not using. Or they might have loads of stuff stored in them and you just haven't used it in ages. You might have downloaded an app like this, doesn't work anymore. Uninstall. Simple and easy, just get them uninstalled. Find everything you don't use. You might find some apps which you do have installed, but you don't need them there all the time. You can just quickly get them back from the um, Fire Stick um, search. So you can search them and re-download them. So anything you're not using, get rid of. This is only official apps we can get rid of at the minute. If you can click them. Obviously, I've done that for a video, but I don't use it anymore. Uninstall. And just clear out all the dead apps you're not using, because you don't need them there. There's not a lot of room, so get rid of them. Okay. What we do now, let's get that SD made installed, and hopefully that has helped clear up some space as well. So go to your menu, go to uh, My Fire TV, Developer Options, ADB Debugging, turn that on, Install Unknown Apps, 
turn it on for that downloader app that we've just installed, okay? Turn it on for that. You should have all installed that. If you missed that part, just go back in the video, get it installed. All right, back to downloader. And this time we go to home. And in here, we're going to type the link which is under the video, which is docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads. Or to save time, you can go 75726, okay? And click go. This is the prime time to give me a comment underneath, guys, if you are going to be coming later in the week to see the external storage video, which I can't wait to do. I've got a 5 terabyte hard drive here. I might try and connect up to it, just for the, just for the crack, really. Right. Once you're on my downloads page, keep scrolling down. And we need to go downloaders and tools. And in here, you will find ST made. Okay. You just click it. And you click download. For anyone where it doesn't install, it's because you haven't done that bit beforehand where we went and turned on the debugging and the install apps from unknown sources. Right. Now, behind my head, we have an install button. So click install. Click done. And again, this is where you should click delete, guys. Okay, delete this file. I'm just going to click done so I can prove to you. Over back in files, that one we've just downloaded has reappeared. So we click three lines, click delete to get that out because we've already installed the app. Okay, and then back to your home screen. And obviously, to find that app now, the best way will be go to settings, applications. Manage installed applications. And then all the way down to SD Made Pro. And again, see anything you don't want, delete it on the way. There it is. You can open it from here, launch it, and run the scan. Hopefully those little tips helped you guys. Um, they were just there, obviously, to try and clear up a little bit of storage until we get the external storage added. And then we'll show you about moving stuff around and things like that. Remember to check out the rest of the channel, guys. As you see here, there's loads of videos for your five, six at the moment. There's some really popular ones about turning off settings, um, some ones about setting up, um, side loading, adding stuff to it. Loads of popular ones in there. So it's been really good, really useful. So they're linked underneath. Also, if you're after a VPN to keep your device safe, um, do check out the link underneath at IP Vanish. This is one of our partners. Do check them out. Um, that is an affiliate link, so it does help support the channel. But if you don't want to use my link, but you do want the VPN, feel free just to search them anyway. And that's linked underneath. And as well as, I've also got underneath my Twitter and my Facebook page, all linked underneath for you, ready for you guys to come and join in. Um, talk, ask questions, watch us the game we do on the Facebook. We release everything on our Twitter early, whether it's new apps or new updates or anything like that. And that's all linked via the website and everything like that. Brilliant. I've been Dr. Squiffy. There's another video for you. I'll see you later in the week, and I'll see you soon.